Now, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, this concept of diversity. You know, uh, everybody agrees diversity is a, uh, diversity is a good thing. You know, uh, to stereotype people and put uh, peg people in certain holes without knowing them uh, is not good for anybody. And having an array of different experiences uh, is helpful uh, to anybody, whether it be in, in culture, in culture, or in business, or anything like that. But the left has got so out of control with diversity. Uh, I think we need to stop and ask ourselves: Is diversity, for diversity's sake only, uh, a virtue? I want to do something with you right quick, and I want to do some word association. I want to say something, and you think of the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay? I want you to tell me what you think of when I name the following occupations. Accountants. Did you think of a nerdy? white male with glasses and a tie and a calculator in his pocket? I did. Let's go on further. Elementary school teachers. What comes to mind there? I know what I see in my son's school and that may prejudice my initial reaction a little bit, but I think of a bunch of 30-something females when I think of that position. Let's go on further. NBA basketball player. Did you think of a black man? Are you a racist if you did? What about Ditch digger. Did you think of a burly male wielding a shovel? Or did you think of a petite, young, nice looking female? See, we all go for diversity in these nice, well to do positions. In doctors, lawyers should be diverse. Plant managers should be diverse. Plant supervision should be filled by a diverse group of individuals. Office management and office supervision. These should all be positions that are uh, occupied by very diverse populations. Entrance into colleges uh, should be a diverse group. All these nice, warm, fuzzy uh, groups of people we want to believe should be diverse. So let's take this on further. Let's bring diversity uh, into the full population. If doctors and lawyers should be diverse, why not ditch diggers? Why don't we have dainty women digging ditches? What about maids? Where's the cry for diversity in the population of maids? Why is it so dominated by females? And why is there not more of an outcry to get uh, middle-aged males, middle-aged white males involved in, in the, the cleaning services? Is it possible, is it possible that certain people are more well equipped for certain jobs? And that's why we find um, undiverse populations in those jobs? Think about it. We have certain jobs that are so assumed to be occupied by a one gender or another that the gender is built into the name of the job. Think about it. A garbage man. 
the guy that rides on the back of the truck. The name of his job is almost universally known as a garbage man. Why a garbage man? Think about someone that serves food in a middle school cafeteria. The name for that job is almost universally known as the lunch lady. Why are we not trying to infiltrate that area with more uh, males? See, I'm not talking about predestination here. I'm not talking about uh, little girls coming out of the womb and we're saying automatically they're going to be, you know, maids and teachers and hairdressers. And I'm not talking about saying every man that comes out of the womb is going to be a doctor and a lawyer and a construction worker. But what I'm saying is maybe people wind up in certain occupations and in other positions in life because that's what they're more well equipped to do. And why don't we instead allow children and youths and adults for that matter to explore what they would like to be in life and allow them to do what they are good at in life. And if that winds up meaning that we have a uh, undiverse population in certain areas, well then we should at least be glad that the people that are best equipped for the job are doing it. I don't know about you, but if I need a ditch dug, I'm going to a big, strong, burly man. I don't want diversity in that because it's going to cost me uh, four times as much to have that little lady do it. And so when we have diversity for diversity's sake, what you wind up with uh, is a populace that as a whole is not doing as much as it could be and not doing the things that it is doing as well as it could be because we're bent I'm forcing people that may not be uh, equipped for a certain job, I'm forcing them into that position rather than allowing uh, people to find their own way. And so, is diversity a good thing? Yes, it is. Is equal opportunity a good thing? Yes, it is. But our mandates that, that certain percentage of certain races or genders uh, occupy certain jobs, good? Is that good? Are those mandates good? I don't think so. And I think we um, are working in opposition to the very goals that we set out to achieve when we institute uh, these things in the first place. And that is a, a uh, well-qualified workforce and people that are well-satisfied uh, in their jobs and that are doing the best and most efficient job uh, that they can be doing. And I think we lose sight of that when we think only in terms of diversity. What we need to think of is in terms of productivity. Sometimes that will mean a very diverse population. Other times it won't. But that will still be the best situation for us to wind up in if we've given everybody equal opportunity. So I think that's the way we should approach diversity and not mandate that we have diversity no matter what.